let's take a look at the gross structure of the kidney. We'll start out by this connective tissue that encapsulates the kidney, which is simply referred to as the renal capsule. And you can appreciate that beyond that is parenchyma tissue, epithelial tissue that forms the cortex. And then these structures, which are referred to as pyramids, create what we call the renal medulla. Now it is in the cortex that the blood is filtered. It is in the renal medulla where we do the ultimate, I say manufacturing and ultimate drainage of the urine that ultimately results from filtration of blood. Notice that there are these little cup-like structures that we find at the base of each pyramid and these are called minor calyxes. Two or more minor calyxes together form a major calyx. From the calyx, we drain into the renal pelvis, and from the pelvis to the ureter. The tract of the ureter ultimately will go to the urinary bladder, and then from the bladder to the urethra. Notice that there are two ureters and only one urethra. There are also two E's in the term ureter and only one E in the term urethra. So if you pay attention to the E's when you pee, uh, you'll uh, remember which is which, right? Two ureters and one urethra. All right, let's take a look at the vascular system. This is the renal artery coming off of the abdominal aorta. The renal artery splits into segmental arteries the segmental arteries split into lobar arteries, and the lobar arteries split into interlobar arteries. That's the arteries that travel between the pyramids. The interlobar arteries become arcuate arteries. The term arcuate means arch, and this forms an arch over the pyramids. And then branching off of the arcuate arteries are the interlobular arteries. So there are lobar, interlobar, and then the smallest still interlobular. So the longer the word, the smaller the artery. Okay, now veins are very similar. We have interlobular veins traveling to arcuate veins, traveling to interlobar veins, but um, we do not actually have segmental veins and things like this. Rather, these drain directly into the renal vein. All right? So the way to remember these arteries and veins, real students, okay, real would be renal, students would be segmental, love is lobar, interesting is interlobar, anatomy is arcuate, instructors would be interlobular. So real students love interesting anatomy instructors. Maybe someday you'll meet one. And uh, veins, because there's fewer of them, we have Interesting anatomy is remembered, okay? So interesting is here, right? Interesting for interlobular. Anatomy is arcuate. Is is interlobar. And then finally remembered would be the renal vein once again.